Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video talking to you about this sling I got here. This is one of the Vickers two point padded slings from Blue Force Gear. I've been using this thing for close to a year now and I, I really, really like it. Um, so, you know, like I've said in other videos, if time is of the essence and that's all you needed to hear, then by all means go ahead and get one. If you want to see me qualify that statement and explain to you exactly how I have it set up and how I typically use it, then by all means please uh, continue watching the video and uh, hopefully I'll be able to elaborate to you guys um, how I have this set up, how I like to use it, and uh, things that I've found that kind of work for me. The first time I actually used this sling was in a two-day American Rifleman course with Spartan Training Concepts, which if you've seen a lot of my other videos, uh, you've seen plenty of footage from it, but nonetheless I'm going to throw more in there just so you can see this thing in action. Um, and I gotta give it up to Blue Force Gear because when I ordered this, what had happened was I had originally ordered a different sling from a different manufacturer and when it arrived, I started doing some research on it and this is probably stuff I could have found out before I bought it but I was in a hurry so, you know, whatever. Um, I found out that the sling that I had ordered was actually made by Troy Industries and those of you who've been following my channel for a while, you know my feelings on Troy Industries. I refuse to own any of their products. So as soon as I found that out, I ditched that sling, gave it away to somebody, and uh, I needed another sling. I'd heard good things about the Vickers slings, so I contacted Blue Force Gear, but mind you, this is like four days before I have to leave for this class. So I call them up, I'm like, hey, here's the deal, here's what's going on, I have this class coming up, I really need a sling for it, is there anything you guys can do? And, um, you know, they were kind enough to help me out and make sure that I had that sling in time for that class. So I really appreciate Blue Force here helping me out with that. And uh, it has led to me getting a sling that I absolutely love. So let me go ahead and get into some of the features of this sling. And uh, again, show you how I have this configured on this uh, SBR here. The specific sling that I have uses two cutie attachment points in order to uh, connect the sling. Now on this BCM upper, I have one of the BCM proprietary uh, rail slots to actually do the quick disconnect onto this KMR rail, KMR alpha rail to be specific. And then again, it has a QD point in the back, which I have going straight into this Viper PDW stock. Um, it does, I believe, have a stock spot in, uh, or a QD swivel spot, spot back here in the tail end of this but since I like having the cheek rest attached um, I'm using the one up here right in front of the button that is used to actually uh, open up this sling or excuse me the the stock so far that's been working really well for me uh, hasn't gotten in the way at all um, when I ran it through the class I was using just a regular um, a receiver extension with one of the Viper um, CQB stocks, which had a QD little spot in there, so that's how I was using it before, but it's still working now that I have the PDW stock. Now, um, other than the padded section up here, which, uh, you know what, let me just go ahead and, and take the sling off and demonstrate that. Um, you have this nice padded section here, and it's not super long, the padded section itself, but it doesn't have to be. It's really just the area that's going over your shoulders, and again, taking a two-day rifle class with this um, I can say that it was absolutely comfortable now again I have a pretty stripped down SBR here so I'm not dealing with a whole bunch of weight but from talking to people who have carried much heavier weapons in much more um, unfriendly environments the the padded sling has worked really well for them so um, for me it was really comfortable especially with this nice nice lightweight SBR 
And then really the only other thing you have is this little tension strap back here, which <laughs> I have it all the way loosened. Um, so, you know what, let me just zoom out of this thing and so you can see this better. You have this big strap right here, which you can go on, grab onto and pull back to give yourself more slack. Or if you want it to suck up nice and close to your body, you can just pull it all the way out and do that. So let me demonstrate what kind of difference that makes. Get the sling back on in the two point configuration. So right now I have it pretty much all the way loosened out. With it loosened out, I can still get a good cheek rest on it. I can still work with it in my shoulder. However, with it attached like this, I still can't do any sort of transition, especially to, to my left shoulder. So in order to do that, what I've really found myself doing anytime I do any you know, significant amount of shooting with this sling on is I just take my uh, support hand and just thread it out from under. So at this point, the sling is just going around my neck. From here, I can do whatever I want all day long. I can switch shoulders if I want to and I really have nothing impeding my ability to work this rifle and get it up into my workspace, do reloads, do malfunction clearing, whatever I have to do. Whereas that might be slightly limited when I have it in the two point configuration, I have to drop the rifle way down and I'm kind of stuck up in this sling in order to actually work on it. Now, I know those of you, uh, well, at least some of you at this point are saying, well, if you use a single point sling, that's not an issue at all. And yeah, that's, that's, that's true. Um, however, and you know what? I, I used to run single point slings. I liked them for a really long time until I started actually training. Um, and, and even when I say training, even after taking one or two classes, some super simple classes, I still really liked single point slings. It wasn't until I started taking a lot more, I'll say labor intensive classes where you're having to do first aid, you're having to shoot and move, you're having to do bounding drills, where I really started valuing a two point sling. So let me try to elaborate on that and explain that as best I can. When you're, excuse me, when you're working with a single point sling, typically it's gonna sit a lot lower on your body when you have no hands on it. And even with an SBR or like a pistol caliber, uh, a, a pistol, AR or AK-47, when you are starting to administer first aid to somebody, odds are that muzzle's going in the dirt. That's just how it is. That's just the way life is with a single point sling. Um, or if you're doing any sort of movement or bounding or anything like that, there's a pretty high probability that your muzzle's going in the dirt. And that's not a good thing. The last thing you want is a giant obstruction at the end of your barrel. Um, I know someone who's blown off a muzzle device because they had an unknown obstruction at the end of their barrel. Um, with a two point sling, all I gotta do, swim my support hand back in, cinch it up. Now at this point, let me, let me go ahead and reposition my camera so you can see better um, what I'm trying to explain here. With this single point sling here, I'm on my knees and granted it's cutting off at my waist, but you can probably tell my muzzle's not in the dirt. I can get down, I can start administering first aid to somebody, and this is sucked to my chest close enough that I can put tourniquets on as I have before and uh, on, on people, and I am totally unobstructed. Whereas other times, if I had a single point, I'm trying to like throw it around the side or do something, and it's just not ideal. Again, you can make it work, but in my opinion, it's not ideal. So once again, once I started doing more labor intensive uh, training or training where I'm actually having to administer first aid to myself or others, having a two point sling where I can really cinch it up close to my body um, became pretty much indispensable. Hence why I am now pretty much running exclusively two point slings. So now with that out of the way, I'm sure there are people out there who are screaming at their computer screens or phone screens saying, well, what about slings that go from a single point to a two point? Sure, that's fine. Um, I have slings like that. This sling is not one of them. This is a straight two point sling. I believe they probably have convertible slings, single point to two point. Um, but honestly, I don't see myself ever being in a position where I need a single point sling. Like I said, even with it sucked up against my chest, as it is right now where it's nice and tight, all I have to do is swim my arm out and now again, I can do whatever I need to. I can swing it from shoulder to shoulder. If I need more space, I can get it up into my workspace. If I need more space, I can just pull that out and I have all the freedom in the world to do what I need to do. So again, if, if I'm patrolling or anything like that, then I'll probably have it a little bit looser so that I can still react immediately and then swim my arm out if I have to. Um, or if, if I'm, you know, 
actively working on somebody, I'm gonna put this back on, pull the strap nice and tight close to my body, and then be able to do whatever I need to do hands-on. So that's how I have it set up. That's kind of my reasoning behind going from single points to two points. I still have single points on a couple guns, but uh, I'm starting to transition as much as I can to exclusively two point slings, just because again, from my experience, from my usage, it's just what works for me. Now one of the nice things about these padded Vicker slings from Blue Force Gear is, now I have this in like the kind of OD green, um, maybe forest green, I don't remember exactly what color I ordered, but you can get them in pretty much whatever color configuration you want. You can mix and match, you can have FDE on the top, OD green on the bottom, you can have black, you can have gray. I believe they have like multicam options. So it's pretty limitless as far as how you want it colored and then even configured you can have qd points you can have hk uh, style hooks i think um, pretty much any popular attachment method you can get those attachment points also so this is what has been working for me i really like them i think they're very affordable for what you're getting out of these um, and again having run this thing through easily close to 2000 rounds now i guess now thinking about it off the top of my head 1200 rounds just in that first class and then however many months it's been that i've had it um it looks pretty good like honestly now that i'm really analyzing it there's a couple dirty spots here and there but it's held up really well there's no tears there's no fraying um it's it's doing its job and it's it's holding up really well so um i know that from here on out pretty much whenever i order a sling it'll probably be one of these vickers uh padded slings again just because my experience with it has been so good and for what it's worth I paid full retail price for this sling. So, you know, take that for what it is. You know, you're getting my legit opinion, not that you'd get anything else um, if they did provide it. So um, I'll have a link to where you can find these down below in the description box. Um, also have links to the video that I did on that two day rifle course. So you can see a lot more shooting with this sling on. Um, hopefully maybe throughout the video, I've done some shooting today. It's getting kind of dark right now, but I might yeah, it's actually too late for me to shoot here right now because technically I think it's about to be sunset and we can't shoot past sunset. But anyway, I still have plenty of footage from using the sling to be able to roll in front of the camera. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and throw those down in the comment section down below. If there's a sling that you really like, go ahead and throw those down below also. There are good ones out there um, that I've had a lot of luck with, but uh, this is just kind of my current favorite right now. Um, if you are so inclined, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Um, I post all my content there early, as well as I do some exclusive content there. Um, so if you check that out, I'd really appreciate it. The people who support me there help support a lot of videos here on my channel. Um, but with all that said, as always, I hope you're able to get something out of this video, and I really appreciate you watching.